When you're ready. You've got a party to get to. It's not yours, though. You framed Jacob. No. I found it. <laughs> so it uh, fell into your hands and you squirreled it into your rucksack. I think I'll just call my dad. I really wouldn't. Oh, yes, this is a great reason to drag him away from party prayer. All right. If you want the truth, it actually was Jacob. Wait, so... stealing the cash so he could blame Billy for it? Are we uh, back on that? I have no idea what he told you. But even a tiny rock like that would have cleared him out. Right, so he's a thief and a cheapskate. <laughs> you seriously think that I'm going to trust your word over his? You stole the cash. You just haven't got the guts to fess up about it. Why the hell would I steal it? I've got a job. I live rent free. Well, I don't know. I just know I can't believe a word that comes out of your mouth. I didn't take the stupid pride money. <sighs> What's this then? That's private. Is it Jacob's as well? No, it's mine. My... Bits box. We've all got one of them, right? The random stuff you can never quite throw away. Come on, then. Talk me through your mementos. This stuff's so random. Why? A hair bubble, a lighter, and a dog toy. Memories. Of what? Right. This, for example. My first fishtail plait when I was seven. And blonde? OK, fine. If you want the real truth, I steal things. It's a compulsion, a disease. I, 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 I can't help myself. Kleptomania. Yes, exactly. I, um, I've had years of therapy. I, I thought I was on top of it. So you nick random stuff off strangers and put it in your bits box? Yes, exactly. I see something and can't resist. I'm, I'm like a magpie. OK. Repeat after me. I am a weird freak. Can I please have it back now? Ooh! What's this? Put that down. Why? It's personal. I told you. Give! Woman found dead in suspicious circumstances. Ooh! Who is she? None of your business. Oh, no, actually it is. My rucksack, my bedroom, and this is far more interesting than pre-drinks with my dad, to be honest. The deceased parents, Roger Butler, bracket 58, and Madeline Butler, bracket 56, say, Arnadine lit up a room. She was loved by everyone. It's not funny. A girl died. Yeah, but you still haven't told me who she is. My best friend, happy now? Ah, oh, here we go. Miss Butler had spent the evening with her three best friends, looking forward to their up and coming spa break. Why are you even doing this? You're the freak, Liana. Tanya Marsden, Danielle Smith, and Sonny Lipsy, all 22. Oh, where's Mina Jutler? If you were her bestie, wouldn't you, uh, be in the crew? I didn't go. Weren't invited? Wouldn't want to be. She was found dead in her car yesterday after inhaling carbon monoxide fumes. Police suspect foul play. Uh, what does that mean? No idea. 
So, who did it then? Don't know. Well, you've got the article, so you must have a theory. Not really. Well, did they not interview suspects? Her friends, did they not interview you? Why would they do that? Well, I mean, um, you said you were besties. Have you finished dredging up the trauma, forcing me to go back there? I didn't mean for her to die! <gasps> yeah, um, definitely crazy. Anyway, I need some Prosecco. Um, so, this was fun. I mean, I'd say you could pop in later, but I think that might be a bit awkward. <laughs> no. Spiteful little snoopers don't get to walk away. Are you threatening me? Do I have to remind you that you work for my dad? <laughs>